Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to control a GSM board using Arduino. This is the GSM 300 board. To start with, put a valid SIM into the SIM holder at the back side of the GSM board. Unlock it and provide a separate power supply to GSM board. Do not try to power it up from the Arduino board as Arduino cannot source the current required by GSM. Always use an external adapter. I am using 12 volt 1 amps adapter for the GSM board. Now the LED starts blinking indicating the signal. As an initial test just call the number of the SIM and ensure that you are getting a ring back tone. Now you are getting a ring back tone. This LED is blinking according to the ringing tone. Now your GSM is ready to accept commands from the Arduino board. Now connect the Arduino board to your PC using the USB cable. You have to do only three connections between the Arduino board and the GSM. The first pin is the zero, that is RX pin. This is the RX pin. This RX pin should go to the RX of uh, GSM. There you see the RX of GSM. RX should go to RX of GSM and the next pin is uh, pin 1 that is TX the TX should go to TX of uh, GSM this is a TX TX to TX of GSM and you have to make the ground common this ground, even though you are supplying a separate adapter, you have to make the ground common. Ground of uh, GSM should be connected to the ground of uh, Arduino. This is the setup before you start coding. Now open up the device manager of your PC. and scroll down to ports when you connect the Arduino board you just note down the COM port allotted here it is allotted COM9 note down the port you have to feed this port number to the Arduino IDE fire up the Arduino IDE and under tools serial port you select that com port com9 and board is Arduino you know and programmer type is USB ASP now feed in the code this is the code for dialing a number You are alerting the phone number to your char variable and under setup first you start the serial connection at baud rate of 9600 using the code serial.begin after a delay of 2 seconds you are sending, uh, sending the code 80 this is just to wake up the GSM board to dial a phone number you just send the phone number along with ATD code and after that a semicolon. This is the way to do it. Serial.print ATD ATD command is uh, sent along with the phone number and after that a semicolon is sent. Don't forget to use the print line. Print line command and not print. Print line will send a carriage return. And after that you provide a reasonable delay of uh, 10 seconds so that the GSM responds 
to hang a call you just send the command ATH we are using this uh, code inside the setup and not inside the loop if you use this code inside the loop then uh, the call will be made forever it will go inside the never ending loop and the call will be made forever so you, sh you should be cautious while using it under the loop inside code you have to provide some condition where the call will be terminated for demo purpose we are using it inside the setup so that the call is made only once after feeding in the code just click on verify and before uploading the code you have to remove the RX and TX connections from the Arduino board otherwise you cannot upload the code to your Arduino board after removing the connections you just upload it now upload is over now connect back the TX RX connections of uh, GSM open up the serial monitor of uh, Arduino board at the right uh, top corner you can see the serial monitor icon click on that to open the serial monitor if you press the reset button of Arduino again first AT you can see AT AT command to wake up the GSM again ATD and the phone number after that semicolon now the call is made after that ATH is uh, automatically sent to hang the call press reset of Arduino button you can see AT command that will wake up the GSM board after that ATD and phone number semicolon to call the phone number and automatically ATH command is sent to hang the, hang the call while uploading the code do not forget to remove this uh, RxTX connections as these RxTX serial connections are utilized to upload the code you have to remove the external connections otherwise you will get upload error after uploading the code connect the RxTX connections of GSM and then press reset now the call is made and automatically disconnected as we are giving ATH command again you press the reset again the call is made and disconnected automatically now we shall see how to send SMS using Arduino open the Arduino IDE and feed in the code to send SMS from Arduino here initially we are uh, using two integer variables that is time to send and count that is for controlling how many times you have to send the SMB SMS and then we are using a char variable to store the phone number and under setup we are uh, starting the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600 and initiating the GSM to text mode using the AT plus CMGF com command AT plus CMGF equals 1 that sets the GSM to text mode and inside the loop uh, inside the loop we send the command AT plus CMGS and then the phone number this is the way to send the phone number to GSM AT plus CMGS and after that phone number we are testing for the condition whether the GSM enters the text mode that is confirmed by the greater than symbol once you get the greater than symbol the test message is sent to the uh, GSM the message is sent after you press the control Z control Z indicates the end, end of message and the hex code for sending the control Z is 1A this is how you send the control Z serial dot write 
and the 0x is the indication for hex code, 1a is the hex for control z. And after that you send the 0d, that is for carriage written in hex, and 0a, that is a line feed in hex. This is very important and this is how you send the message from Arduino. 1a in hex to send the control z, 0d to send the carriage written, and 0a to f send the line feed. And this is the condition, you come out of the loop. You are sending only once the SMS. If you are not providing any conditions, you will get the SMS forever. It is a never ending loop. Be aware that it is a never ending loop and be cautious while using inside the loop. At some condition, you have to come out of the loop. After uploading the code, press the reset button. Before uploading the code, remember to remove this TXRX connections. Otherwise, you cannot upload the code for, to the Arduino board. After uploading, just press the reset key. Now the message is received. This is the message we fed inside the code, text message from Arduino that you received in the that you received now. Open the serial monitor and then press the reset button. First AT plus CMGF is sent so that uh, GSM is put on text mode and after that AT plus CMGS phone number. Now the message is sent. You will receive the message on the phone. Thank you for watching.